Hey guys, welcome to Cleveland Middle School. We're so glad to have you back in the building. My name is Mrs. Rogers and I want to give you a tour of the library today, okay? Come along. we're inside now and first of all I want to show you these cubby holes this is a great place for you to be able to lay down your supplies your materials your backpack this frees your hands up and it keeps you from running into things here in the library since we're tight on space sometimes next in this same area we have a map here and it shows the world and if you would like to uh, have where you were born on this map just see Miss Dyrick we will put a pin and it will show the places that you were born Okay, next we're gonna go over here to the sign-in, and this is right here at the front desk. I generally will be seated behind that to greet you, but this is where we want you to sign in to let us know you've gotten to the library. First of us, all, you'll show us the pass that you got from your teacher saying that you could come to the library, and then you're just gonna put the date, your name, the teacher that sent you, and the time. This is just so we can keep track of who's um, coming in and coming out, and so the teachers know that you've been where you said you were going show you all the computer section of the library okay we have everything from a color printer to a black and white printer we have a computer that's gonna allow you to play garage band and things like that we have four of the Z space um, computers and that allows you to see things in 3d format we have a microscope that can be utilized and then over here we have uh, four basic uh, computers that you can use when you just need to do research or other work here in the library, as well as a tablet for drawing. I also want to show you that we have this paper tower that's full of all different kinds of paper that you can uh, use for research projects or any kind of classwork that you're doing. You're welcome to help yourself to that. Here at Cleveland Middle School, we have two libraries. We have a digital online library, which Ms. Dyrick will give you more information about when you visit. And secondly, we have a physical library. Let me show you around that, okay? We're going to start with our fiction side. And up in the front with these red labels is our graphic novel section. And this is basically a story with pictures. The whole left side of the library is going to be our fiction side and the books are color coded. Pink is romance, yellow is sports, and then we carry on with all the other genres which would be suspense, supernatural, fantasy, anything that appeals to you we are going to have it here in the library and we can help you find that. Here in the back of our fiction section, we have what we call a Traveler's Cafe, and this will be used at times, special times, when you're in the library, you might have a game here, you might have food here or a snack here. This is a special occasion, and Ms. Dyrick will give you more information about that later. You'll see on the top of all of our cabinets that we have Playmobil vignettes, and these represent the classic books. These are timeless, and we start here and we have the Haunted House, which represents Phantom of the Opera, Dracula, The Raven, The Legend from Sleepy Hollow. In the back of the library, we have what we call our maker space. As we move along here, you'll see that we have a virtual reality headset and 
keyboard. As we move on around the back, we have large Lego sets that we work on. This one is gonna be Harry Potter. We have Lego robots. We have all kind of costumes that you can try on. And we have a large inventory of craft materials that we use after school and during the classroom. These are all hands-on experiences for you. Now we're in the middle of the library and this is gonna be our reference section. Here you have big, beautiful, colorful books that give you information about everything that you can think of. These books do stay in the library, but you're welcome to use them for personal pleasure or for uh, class projects, research papers. But you're gonna have everything from plants and flowers, automobiles, sports information, ocean, every subject that you can think of, that's what you're gonna find here in the middle of the library. On top of the case, you're gonna see a hat and helmet collection. The hats you are welcome to try on on your own. The helmets we ask that you come to us and get help. They are very heavy and we don't want to cause any damage to you or the helmets. But these hats let you be anybody you want to be, even if you wanted to be Sherlock Holmes. Now we're on the right side of the library. This is our nonfiction side, which is the factual side. So these books here on the front, these are pop-up books. We do ask that they stay in the library because they're fragile, but the other books in these cases, you're welcome to check out. All of the books other than the pop-up books are available for checkout. Again, this is our non-fiction side. On the non-fiction side, you're gonna find books that are about facts, that give you factual information. So you'll have, we have everything from history, math, science. We cover physical health, mental health, we can find out how to make things, how to do things, how to fix things. There's information about people in the back, which are gonna be our biography section. And then anything that you can think of that is a factual topic, that's what we're gonna find on this side of the library. On the nonfiction side of the library, on the top of the cases, we have vignettes also. These are a timeline, a numerical timeline that walks us from the ancient civilization. So we have everything from the Mesopotamians to the Egyptians, cavemen, and it continues all the way through the settling of America to the modern age of space. They are really fun to look at and we hope you'll enjoy them. We're in the back of the library now and as you can see we have some comfortable spots for you to sit down and enjoy a book we also have a water fountain in the back here that you are welcome to use going on down the hallway you're going to see a coffee and tea bar unfortunately that is just for teachers not students here in the back we also have some classrooms so we're going to want to be quiet and respectful of other people's time but i want to show you this bookcase we have in the back this is our dead animal case. It's really interesting. You're gonna to wanna to take a look at it to see the different species and specimens that we have in here. We have one more case here, and this has got different cultural artifacts and it's got some um, models that the kids have made for out of Legos. Hopefully you'll get to be a part of making something like that also. Here in our library, we also have a DVD collection that you're allowed to check out. It's in the front of the library. You're allowed to have one at a time and you're allowed to keep it for two nights. We ask that you be really careful to not scratch it so that they're there for others to use, but it is extensive and you are welcome to check them out. Around the corner from the DVDs, we have what we call our picture book collection. 
They are also available for checkout. They are, have big, beautiful pictures that are illustrated really well, very colorful, and these are also for your enjoyment. To the circulation desk, we wanna show you how you can check out books and other materials here in the library today. Good morning. All right, you ready to check out? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your last name? Uh, Beloved. Okay. Okay, so for a DV, you can check a DV out for uh, one at a time for two nights each, okay? All right. And for this, we're gonna check this out. You can keep these for two weeks. We're gonna put a card in the back that helps you remember when it's due back. And is this a renewal? Mm -hmm. Okay, and for renewal, you can renew them multiple times. You just have to have it with you when you come into the library, okay? All right, there you go. Have a great day. You too. My name is Morgan Elliott, and I'm in the seventh grade. I like the library because it has such a variety of books, and it has my favorite comic books, and it's just a great, great, relaxing place to be. One last detail. This is Sir Richard the Lionhearted. He is our silent guardian. He watches over our library and takes good care of us.